do you think what Hamas did on October 7th can be justified? Well, we don't, A, we don't know what they did do, but do, was it justified for them to resist the occupation? Yeah. But it, again, it's what you said, it's the Geneva Conventions. They are absolutely legally and morally bound to resist the occupation since 1967. It's an obligation. Upon but are there limits on the way in which they can resist? I, as I said in, this, in the um, statement that I put out after it, I said, if war crimes were committed, I condemn them. I, and, condemn, I don't and, care who it is. Who and here, here war we crimes. are now three weeks or so after. Do you think there's been evidence that's emerged that suggests they committed those? There may have been individual things. What? I, I was reading a new story this morning, which uh, Grey Zone. Uh -huh, Our uh -huh. friend Max Blumenthal. Uh -huh. So there's a long story which I read this morning, but they've ha Arats have finally come out with figures of how many people were actually killed and who they were. On that they, day. Uh -huh. On that day, yeah. yeah. And so probably the first 400 were Israeli military personnel. Who are? That is not a war crime. No, clearly everyone thinks military officials and military targets or soldiers in Israel are well, it depends military if you believe targets. in the Geneva Conventions or not. Or, right. Or the, or, or the United Nations. But what about targeting civilians no, or abducting you, no, them? Course. No, of course. No, of course not. No, right. of course I don't condone that. Or But the thing was was thrown out of all proportion by the Israelis making up stories about beheading babies. They even got the President of the United States, dotard that he is, to claim that he had seen photographs. Of the beheaded babies. Of the beheaded babies. Yeah. And then admitted that he and actually admitted, didn't, yeah. Um, I mean, I mean you, you know, it's, it's, but what we do know is whether it was a false flag operation or not, or whatever, or whatever happened, and whatever story we're going to get to, and we, we don't know if we will ever get much of a real story. It's, very, it's always hard to tell what actually happened. They're calling it their 9-11. What the hell happened on the American 9-11? Nobody knows. The, oh, clearly the official narrative has huge holes in it. Mm -hmm. That's what I was gonna say. What is your, Complete how do you say? rubbish. No, I don't. All this is the whole point of the difference between my platform and it's the, the Israeli government. I believe in equal human rights for all our brothers and sisters all over the world, irrespective of their ethnicity, religion or nationality. All of them. The Israeli government doesn't. For instance, just in the in that locale there, what we could call the Holy Land if we wanted to. They consider that people who of the Jewish religion have completely different set of rights to everybody else. This is fundamentally important. That's why in my message I go, do you subscribe to the idea of equal human rights or not? Because as soon as you don't, you are a Nazi.